Okay, good evening from PAP, Public Access Poetry. Tonight, it's my pleasure to introduce two poets. First, let me introduce the two poets to each other. Harris Schiff, Ted Berrigan, uh, Ted Berrigan, uh, Harris Schiff. Do you want to read some good works? Sure. Ted Berrigan is going to read Harris's works. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to read some works that I've written in the last couple of years. It's about five of them. <laughs> this is called Boulder. Up a hill, short of breath, then breathing, upstairs and down and up and down again, to noise, your warm, powerful hellos, friends, still slightly breathless, in a three-way street hug outside. And we can move, and we move inside to starbursts of noise. The human voice is how. Lewis's boyish and clear, and Alan's which persists, and his and hers, and all of them thems, and then Anne's once again. And as I am, Ted, then, old lady, old sea, among all things which exist, oh, this, this breathing, we. A little American feedback. Yes, it's true. Strategy is fascinating. And watching its workings out of, its successes and failures, participating even, can be amusing at times. But lords and ladies do express the courtly elegance the rude vulgarity, only truly in the self-sown body minds, living daily, day by day, living of the living self, self-contained, containing self-abandonment, as self is, say, eyes as they caress, or are blazing with particular hate. Living being thought, while a particularly self-engrossing mind game is still and only one pronoun temporarily haranguing the others, while the rest of oneself waits, truly impatiently, for blessed natural savagery to arrive, and to save the party by causing the musicians to resume playing and the dancing to pick up once again. Picnic. The dancer grins at the ground. The mildest of alchemists will save him. Note random hill of chairs. And he will prove useful to her in time, the ground to be their floor. Like pennies to a three-year-old, like a novel, the right novel, to a 12-year-old, like a 39 Ford to a high school kid, like a woman is to a man. A girl who is a woman is herself's own soul and her man is himself, his own, and whole. Addenda. And I can't buy with submission. And though I feel often, and why not, battered, I can't be beaten. But I have been eaten seven times by myself, and I go my way by myself. I being by myself only when useful, as for example, you are to me now, to you. Carrying a torch. What thoughts I have of where I'll be and when and doing what belong to a ghost world, by no means my first, and may or may not be entertaining, e.g. living in a state of innocence in Kansas. They hardly compare to when passing through the air, it thinks about the air. Just as now, you are standing here, expecting me to remember something. When years of trying the opposite of something, leave that vision unfulfilled. Mostly I have to go on checking the windows will but didn't break, while you get on with taking your own sweet time. It's like waking and getting up for a sandwich and a drink, mid-passage, in dreams one has to have. It stops or changes if you do. 
and it changes by stopping if you don't. You do, because you're carrying a torch, a sudden circular bath of symbols assails the structure. Better turn on the overhead light. This is called a note from Yang Kuan. Yang Kuan is a province in China, and this is a note received from there by you, received by you. You stay in the mental institute of your life. God sees dog in the mirror. In this city, below the river, my private life is of no interest, though allowed. It would be nicer to kiss than to shoot up. Visual indifference is a growth. Used, was used, useful. A new way of appreciating has arrived. He should be a ride at Disneyland. People have basically split, and the heart flutters. Stunned, the metrics and melody of the multiplication tables. I am a father, watching, though poor, her broad thoughts, this local lifetime. Here I shall be with it, but never of it, being nothing in front of no one again. Work postures. The rain comes and falls. A host of assorted artillery come up out of the lake. The man who knows everything is a fool. In front of him is his head. Behind him are men. Few listeners get close. And love must turn to power or it dies. This present is terrible. Is this any way to run a railroad? Flashing back seven years, I hear, you will never go any place for the second time again. It's hard to fight when your body is not with you, and it's equally hard not to. There is the dread that mind and body are one. The cruelty of misery and fear work here. And this is called a meeting at the bridge. This is like the bridge between some Texas town and some Mexican town uh, over some river, whatever river. It's between Texas and Mexico. The Hudson River, as far as I know. But, uh, um, and one person comes from one side of the river, and the other person comes from the other side, and they meet and smoke a cigarette and talk, and they don't necessarily know each other. And I don't know which one is talking at which time. It doesn't really matter since it's just me talking. A meeting at the bridge. Somebody else is talking too, actually. Right? <laughs> he was one of the last of the Western bandits. A fellow like you gets into scrapes, got life, spends most of it in jail. Got to make a stand somewhere, I guess. You still smell of disinfectant, I guess. Your kind drift from nowhere to nowhere until they get close to you. No telling what they'll do then. Yeah, I guess that's about right. Do you ever fish? No, I just go down and look at the water. Pretty, ain't it? Is it? No, it ain't pretty. It's a regular carnival, a pigsty, a loop-de-loop. -loop. I need some shoes. The Spicer Foundation. I'd like to uh, announce tonight the formation of the Spicer Foundation. <laughs> I'm calling this organization into effect that it might aid unrecognized and hungry poets to persevere in the bitterness and the joy which makes them exclaim the totality of their being in a world where it is impossible to sit quietly by. I'm the treasurer of the fund, <laughs> and I'll accept donations of any kind. The entire resources thus gathered will be hastily distributed to poets who are too avant-garde or too rear-garde to entitle them to publication in the established quarterlies. Waste and want is our motto. <laughs> Once a year, 
We will fling selected articles from the New York Times into the sewage-ridden waters of the East River. And at precisely this moment, an agent will ceremoniously hurl an unpublished manuscript from the lower span of the Golden Gate Bridge. He'll be busted for littering and creating a public nuisance and refusing to speak or in any way identify himself will be committed to Agnew State Hospital in California's fertile Castro Valley for life. His file will list him as just another John Doe. Fireworks. Sentinel towers keep away the moon, blinking, barking, protecting Fortress America. In their cages, the primates inhale burning noxious fumes to dull their awareness. The dim stars enter their dreams as splinters in the night. Everywhere is a howling and a moaning and a screaming but the blissful are content to water their plants and turn out the lights to watch the fireworks. In the heart of the empire, the night sounds tingle the gismatic box, the sensor in the giant sensorium. This comfort, now fleeting and not so fleeting, now elusive, now found, now nowhere around. I'm dreaming. I'm not dreaming. I wish I were dreaming. I'm trapped in a geography of chemicals, and I don't mind, as long as it don't hurt too much. And I don't know what to do about the pain of my brother and sister creatures on this planet, or have anything to say besides look them in the eye and cry. There are so many freaks. And yes, there's been so much joy in all of us, especially those soft come sleeps and mother dreams, or the sunflower showers of radiation and elation to be running over Earth's gentle tresses. Hillsides beneath sky, man, pure sky, which we come out of and return to like water back to water, which is also alive, while in the street, the usual madmen reflect the faces of the demons that made them mad which is to kill, which is to be insane in the wall of cacophonous sound and the steely brick-battered soot sky. Reminder, I'm not free. I'm not free. And no good ever came out of the barrel of a gun to splatter the flexing cerebrum. But watch out for the jackboots and the nightmare raiders. And if it comes to that, would you want to be armed against all possible assailants or rather have none and be at ease. So this is something we must all work towards, being high and unafraid to shine it on like the cow mother who nourishes us. But she obliterates herself with heroin because of the dream that it'll make you fine, perpetrated by a liar so subtle his face was hidden behind a beatific smile. There is a promise. There's a promised land right in the body. But the land is overrun by creatures who feel that someone must get the trains to run on time. What day is it? <laughs> it's moon day. It's land day. It's sun. I don't even know what day it is, and I don't give a flying fuck. <laughs> My life disintegrates and reintegrates. In the process, I lose a tiny bit of my integrity. Every revolution, cells die, regenerate. You and I are the formulation. We are the cosmic in-between. 
No time for self-pity. Only time for song. <laughs> this is the song of the world. The world is death. These guys don't believe that, and neither do I. But the world is death. The many forms of death. Defeated death. Resigned death, surprised death, slow death, anguished death, searing death, blinding death, lightning death, delicious death, long-awaited death, sleeping death, laughing death. But then again, the world is a puppy dog. The world is a colt falling on its face. The world is a tiny human at birth, eyes closed, crying for food and warmth, reaching out, betrayed in total trust. The world is shit, piss, puke on your face. The world is putrefaction, <laughs> decay, ecstatic cum, roses, mangoes, magical birds and their songs all in the same place. The world's a pregnant woman afternoon walk down a palm-shaded seaside road, the wind whipping white across the hissing sea, taking it easy, taking it easy with my man by my side. How much longer do I got to wait? The world is ants in your sugar and flies in your beer. It's mosquitoes, sunburn, and stomach aches, and bulldozers smashing down inaudibly screaming trees to make houses, to make paper, to flash ideas across an imaginary entity spinning through cloudy space. The world's a newspaper, printed in technicolor. You better believe it. You didn't make it, but love it or leave it. The world's a ripoff, a burn. All your dreams come true, and nightmares too. It's a pretty good joke, and it's on you. So hats off if you don't forget to laugh at yourself, even if you got to laugh to keep from crying. It's a pretentious project, a beautiful blunder, a terrible mistake. It's watched over by avenging angels who drink too much and lots of times come to work in a bad mood. It's a police state. Habeas corpus has been suspended, and the Court of Appeals has a backlog six centuries too long. But don't worry, because it's your mama giving you a pat on the head and a big kiss. It's sugar. It's the best. It's satisfaction, anticipation, fulfillment, and rest. And I think I'll take a little rest. Okay. Before we continue, I just want to read a poem I wrote, and I think it's very apropos, called A Good Thing Where She Could Steal But She Could Not Rob. <laughs> Sometimes I'm afraid to read a poem I've written or to let others read it for fear they'll slap a tag on my forehead too sweet. It will glow neon and blink her poetry is just like blanks. I wouldn't like that. Or someone had written that poem in their lifetime, so I can in mine. Mark Twain said it best. What a good thing Adam had. When he said a good thing, he knew nobody had said it before. <laughs> Gentlemen, <laughs> would you like to continue? Cool. This is called In Four Parts. A person can lie around on an uncrowded beach, and with too much peace and quiet gets on his nerves, he can always get dressed and tour Israel. <laughs> <laughs> Mayor Frank X. Graves today ordered the arrest of Allen Ginsberg if the police could prove that the poet smoked marijuana while looking at the Passaic Falls yesterday. <laughs> the Jewish Memorial Hospital's Junior League will give its second annual discotheque benefit Sunday at the round table. <laughs> William Carlos Williams, the Patterson, New Jersey physician, was a strong and vigorous poet who spoke in the American idiom. It's true. Uh, I'm not finished, Harris. Don't get excited. 
I have to read a very serious work here, but I can't find one. Just a minute. These people wanted to make them laugh anyway. What? These people on, in the national audience? Here? <laughs> this is called, uh, it doesn't matter what this is called, this is a series of aphorisms which um, are geared to inform you. And there's a coda which uh, informs the aphorisms. The front is hiding the rear. The heart of a man is not as great as an amphitheater. Spinoza is the one who threw a pass to Lou Spinoza. These are from the French, by the way. <laughs> there is no death. There is only dissolution. Love of hate is totally great. <laughs> Me, I disguise myself as a man in order to laugh. I have always loved a serious jack-off scene. <laughs> Infantile paralysis is the beginning of wisdom. <laughs> Everything is poison except our meat. Flowers and candy make my teeth ache. The most beautiful and most noble of men are queer. Mystical explanations are dopey. Aunt Winnie fingers the thunder to learn so that we have left everything aside, but not as a cloud mind steps beside the slow reservoir. Now it is all of this, the pink bulbs included, which means we have protected ourselves by forgetting all we were dealt. Walking up 2nd Avenue in the heat, the waves of glamour obscuring the nature of the beings we are. But the cool air makes you say, what the fuck? Give in to the total sensuality that is your big head, your big ass, your big crotch, your spine bouncing around to the rhythm of your walk. Somewhere, deep, deep behind your eyes is a light that has never been extinguished. But we're in the dark with style as ideas come to us from ourselves about where to walk and how to talk. Easy on the grass. La calle está dura. Everything is burned, broken, trashed over here, the South Bronx. Subway roar and screech bounces out of your ears, the random motion of smoke, people on a market street milling, picking, clawing, kids tiptoeing over broken bricks, there's nothing left to do over here but to put in a 50-lane highway. There ain't even any windows left to bust. <laughs> so just determined to overcome all obstacles, disease, disaster, death itself. On a clear day, the bay is blue, the sailboats easy going in the dock around the harbor, the trees, the clouds, the roaring trucks, the giant towers, it's all easy, like stomach juices slowing down at the end of the traffic jam. That's why I'm accelerating, to get a better look. Even though I'm lost, on the wrong bridge, taking me to the wrong road, crossing over the wrong estuaries, and loving the wrong city, sun sparkles on the wavelets of the bay as jets glide in and glide up and out. The silhouetted multi-towers say the only thing that's wrong is the wrong attitude. So just tell that to the next revolutionary you meet, and if you get shot, then you'll have just said the wrong thing. <laughs> no kidding. All right. All right. From a list of the delusions of the insane, what they are afraid of, that they are starving, that their blood is turned to water, that they give off a bad smell, being poor, that they are in hell, that they are the tools of another power, that they have stolen something, that they have committed an unpardonable sin, being unfit to live, that evil chemicals have entered the air, being ill with a mysterious disease, that they will not recover, that their children are burning. Late November. What said your light, you know, an answer refusing? I go to my store, I maintain, animal inextricably between. Illuminated on the line, 
something, lords in chair, all fixtured, silvered, heart, your curtain, air, breathy air stirs white, knowing, refusing, running. Why, Tomo Cave, New Zealand, couldn't catch the day, its curve, its more. Committed robbery with the Smothers Brothers. Cops pursue us infinitely. There's a grove in the garbage dump where the Buddha sits on his wizened room, smoking dope and looking for all the world like a bump as Meadowbrook trucks roll out of the dump. The erector said towers face off with the breeze and the Buddha is praying down on his knees. Near the path where the kids take a high school fuck, invigorating and degrading to those shit out of luck. The black pearly clouds, the dark swirling clouds, say rain, better duck. But the Buddha is thinking about making a book. Scorpio, if I don't love you, I won't let it show. But I'll make it clear by never letting you know. And if I love you, I will love you true, insofar as love itself will do. And while I live, I'll be whatever I am, whose constant impure fire is outwardly only a man. Tonight's guests on PAP Public Access Poetry is Ted Berrigan, Harris Schiff. Tonight's show was directed by Rochelle Kraut and co-produced <laughs> co by Daniel Krakauer, Gary Linhardt, and myself, Dee Dee Susan W. Uh, any response, we greatly appreciate. <laughs> Not that kind of response. <laughs> Let's pan the audience. We have a really great audience tonight. <laughs> Check the audience out. I didn't see much. You're awful. My God.